Hello, 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 and welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. I am your host Dave, aka Bad Mouse, and we are back in Planet Crafter. Yes, today we are going to locate all of the golden chests that I know of, and so far I think there's only 21 at the moment. You guys might hear my voice, I do have a cold, I have a real bad sinus cold. And um, I'm trying to work my way through it, but... Yeah, let's get into this and um, let's track down all these uh, golden crates so that way that you guys let me bring this open. There we go. So you can see I do have them all numbered. So that way when you guys are flipping through the um, video trying to find something, it'll be a lot easier to figure out whereabouts I am in the video by what number we're heading towards. So um, before we get started with this awesome episode though, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the perfect time to do so. Click that little red subscribe button down there. And um, leave a comment, let me know if this was helpful for you guys. And of course, if this was something you guys enjoyed, click that like button, let me know. And with all that, let's jump into this. and Let's go find some golden crates in Planet Crafter. Alright, so here we are. This is my giveaway map. So, I will be re-uploading this to my Discord if you guys want to install this saved map with all these numbered. All the checkpoints showing you how to get there. Plus all the other cool stuff that I've done to this map. Um, like I said, you know, I haven't been through 95% of the buildings. I haven't opened up any of the blue crates. Everything that I built here, I used mods to build just for the giveaway and um today we are going to track down all these golden crates and like my previous videos we're going to start from this um triangle rock here that way everybody can find it because this is the big open area where most people start their game at in the little crash pod so almost everybody knows where this rock is so the first um first crate we're going to go to is actually on the other side of this lake. This one's an easy one. It's right where the green starts on the wall after the um, water filled up. So our second one is going to be up there on top of the crashed ship. And there's our second golden crate. I did take the effigies out, I believe. Alright, so now, let's go back down the hill. We're going to go across the lake this direction, over to the rock spire forest. Alright, so there's our triangle rock right there. The easiest way to do this is to stay along the right wall here until you get to the cave. And here's our cave going in there finding iridium. Right outside of the cave, if you follow, you'll see one big rock here. When you try to go behind it, you can almost see where the golden crate is. And there it is. So that was golden crate number three. Number four looks like it's right over around the corner here. So let's stay along the right wall here again. And it'll open up to a small little pathway. That you should be able to fit through. And that will bring us out here by the ring.
This one's kind of tricky because it's up inside. So this was going in crate number four. And I'll go up kind of high so you guys can see the lay of the land here. So you got your ring there. And we went a little bit too high. There we go. So you got your ring there and it's like almost straight across right where the water starts. There's a little rock circle there. And that's where your golden crate's going to be inside that little rock circle. All right, so now let's head back to our starting point. All right, we're back at the Triangle Rock. We got the water over there. Now we're going to head over to the aluminum field. This is where we're finding four and five. Or five and six, my bad. So five is kind of easy to get to. You make your way to the wrecked ship here. And you're looking down the side here. You want to head straight past this little rock here. And you'll see like this mushroom shaped one here. It's going to be right behind this. There it is. So that was golden crate number five. So now if we head back the way we came. We actually passed right by this one to get to five. Underneath this rock, here is number six. All right, so this is our triangle rock right there. Now we are going to head over this direction, I think to the canyon. So here we are at the canyon. The canyon one's actually pretty easy to figure out. We have this cave here. And it's in between two um, big rock formations. If we head straight to that little rock formation in front of us, directly across from the cave. That's our cave right over there. And there is number seven. Now I'm going to head right back towards that cave so you can see it. There's the cave. Alright, let's head back to our triangle rock. Alright, here we are at the triangle rock. So now we are looking for crate number 8, which would be inside the rock maze. So once you make it in the middle here where this big spaceship is with all the good stuff. You kind of want to go over. Let me see here. We were looking for eight. There it is. So right across from where the wrecked ship is, you got that big, I don't know what that is, a bridge or something that's half fallen off. That's on the box, the opposite side of where you want to be. You basically want to come all the way to the back wall where you got like a hill going up and you got a little bit of debris right here. Your crate would be right there. All right, let's go find number nine. All right, back to the triangle rock again. This time we're going to head over to the sand cave. And 
And then you'll find that underneath this rock. Right there it is. All right, so from the sand cave, I think we want to head over to the sand waterfall next. So we're going to cut through the sulfur field until we get to the other side where the sand waterfall is. All right, so once you're in this area, I can't give her how nice that looks. As soon as you come in past the um, opening in the wall there, there's a little bunch of rocks right here piled up. You actually want to walk down inside there. And there you'll find it. Good stuff. Alright, so now that we found that one, now we need to get up on top of the waterfall. I know everybody's got their different ways of doing it. I believe you can actually jump your way up there. Oh, there we go. We made it up here. And there is number 11. That one's pretty easy to find. It's pretty much like right in the middle here, I guess. Let me go up a little high. So yeah, it's pretty much kind of like right in the middle. And that's number 11. All right, we are back at the Triangle Rock. Now we're going to head up past the Sand Cave, past the Wreck Ship, until we get to the uh, Super Alloy Cave. All right, so this is our Super Alloy Cave in there. We will be going in there soon. But first we need to go over here to pick up golden chest number 12. So when you come over the top of the hill, you'll see your big valley here with the water down there. We're going to head over to that corner. So what you're looking for is these rocks kind of balancing on each other. They're not really laying flat. They're just kind of like, you get it. But this one right here that's touching the water. When we go in there, you need to stay right along the left side of it. Otherwise, we won't get underneath this rock here. And there it is. Alright, so now from here we can go ahead and do 13. Alright, so here we are. You can see our crash ship. This is the number 12 that we just found. Underneath that rock. Now what we need to do is go up to the top in the middle of this mountain here. Because that is where our entrance was. To the, um, the new city that you have to do the scrolls and stuff to unlock. And then we'll go right down the middle of this castle. And right there we got 13 and 14. All right, let's head back out. All right, so there's our triangle rock. And there's our crash ship on the hill. 
So now we're going to go through this cave. But I'm going to go through it in real time so that you can see the exact way you need to go. There's a hole down there that will take you out to the sulfur field. We want to go through this hole here, but we want to stay close to the left. I might have already missed it. Maybe not. There it is. All right, and that should spit you out here at the canyon. Now you can see our new biome over there, the waterfall. That's where we're headed. Jeez. All right, I had to wait for the storm to pass. So we're here at the waterfall. So basically when we jump down in there, there's gonna be tunnels leading off. We're looking for one Pacific one, I think right over here on this back side. I might have gotten that wrong. It's in here. And there is number 15. Ah, uh, 600 terror tokens. So the, the, the golden chest should be right off from the waterfall. If you're not catching it right off from the waterfall, then you need to find a different cave. I think that takes you on further back into the city and everything. But I don't think we have anything back there. This was... What number was this? That was number 15. So now we need to head for 16. Alright, so we're back at the Triangle Rock. Now we're going to go back to the um, Super Alloy Field. That... um that cave up there. Alright, so here we are at the Super Alloy Cave. Number 12 was right over there. I probably should have made this one 13, but... I didn't. So we want to come in here until we get to the big door that we opened. Why can't I find my way through here? There it is. So here was the big alien door. We threw our thing in there and it opened it up. No more flying. Then we'll come up on this. And I believe we want to go to the right. Um... There it is. Alright, so once you get here, you got this little warden's altar here. And um, all these buildings. But this one here, we want to go in. 
And as soon as we go in, we want to make a left. And then once we get in here, we want to go up. And I think it's back this way. We go up here. We go up here. And there it is. Number 16. Alright. Let's go find number 17. If I find my way out of here at least. There. All right, heading back. All right, so I am back at the exit of that cave we just took. We're at the crater. Right over there was um 15, the the um the new biome that we had to go down into. I know, I numbered these all backwards and stuff. I tried to make it a loop. But anyhow, so once you make your way through that cave, if you need to rewind, look at crate 15, how we got through there. But this time we're gonna go left. Around this side of the edge. Until the rocks open up. And now bring us over here to our big rock waterfall. But we want to keep going over here. And this little rock here, we can't get up there because it's too it's not touching. So this is the first one that we can actually crawl up on. And you want to go all the way to the other side of it. And there it is. Great number 17. Alright, now we can see a little bit better. So we're going to head over to these rocks here on the left side of this waterfall. Now from here, we should be able to get pretty high up. Looks like we made it. And just follow this all the way around. Till we go through the water mist. And there it is. Crate number 18. Right on top of the waterfall. Alright, so now crate number 19. It's right here underneath the waterfall in the back. A thousand terror tokens. And now it's raining. Now I gotta wait again to do the next one. So that was 19. We got two more to go. It's right off this little hill here from the right side of the waterfall. Going around until you go down. Alright, so back here at the waterfall. I'm going to do the last one next in 21. I'm going to do that one next and then we'll go do 20. Because it's just the way I did them, I know. So 21, we want to head back over here to the corner where this water ends.
So we got this little stone bridge here, but there's actually a cave down here. And once we get all the way to the back of this cave, behind this rock, there is what should have been our last one, but we got one more to go. So this was 21, now I'm going to do a do 20, which is down in the mushroom cave. Alright, so here we are back in front of the waterfall. We just did number 21 over here. Just to give you an idea where we're at. Now we want to go over here. We need to get in that alien rock looking area. We're gonna go follow this rock formation around, the brown rock. And that will take you down inside the cave. And as soon as we come into the cave, you'll see like an old water wheel and wooden bridge and stuff like that here. Just dunk yourself in the water. And there it is. Our last golden crate. 21 golden crates. I know it's been a while since I updated this video. The last one I think had 12 or something. I don't know, but we've gotten quite a bit more since then. So like I said, if you guys want to download this saved map, it is on my Discord. The link is down in the description. And uh, if you found this helpful, let me know. And of course, click that like button. Thanks for watching. See you guys next turn.